In the Real Estate Edge today, joining me is Thad Wong. He's a co-founder of App Properties. Here to talk about how to get top dollar out of your home right now. And I know a lot of people are sprucing up their places this summer and wondering, what should I do? So what do you think right now? Is it a seller's market or a buyer's market? We're hearing it's more of a seller's market. Is I that true? I think nationally it's more of a seller's market, but there are some specific areas even in uh, urban, urban populated areas that are popular that are a little bit of a buyer's market because of supply. And everybody's been seeing over the last five years great appreciation, but still sellers are trying to sell at tomorrow's price, and tomorrow's price might be a little bit too high today. So what's the trend? What sells best? You know, right now, when a buyer goes into a home, we're really finding that they do not want to do much work. So everything is from the initial interpretation when you go to the property. So it really it revolves around the landscaping out front. Is it well maintained? Is it vibrant? Does it feel good when you, when you come up towards the house? And then when you come in the front door, are things obviously put away and clean? But more importantly, is it fresh? I think one of the best things people are doing now is repainting their home prior to listing it. So when somebody goes through, it really feels like a new fresh space. Interesting because the big thing used to be to make sure you blanded everything out. Right, right. Now it is less so much about bland. For the last five years, it's been about gray, different shades of gray. Maybe it was a famous book. <laughs> but you know, we're, we don't know exactly what the next trend is, but I would say it has less to do with exactly what's popular and more to do does, does the foam, home feel in great condition? Does it feel like it's being well maintained? And when a buyer goes into a property, if it doesn't feel like the seller is respecting that property and enjoying living in it, when they come to view it, it probably doesn't resonate well with them personally. How important is tech in a home? Everybody seems to be going to high tech. Yeah, the cool part about tech now is that things are moving very quickly as they always have, but they can be retrofitted. So it's not necessarily the old days of making sure things are hardwired. Now most things are wireless and operate on Wi-Fi. So people, it's easy for people to install a Nest thermostat and control their climate, control their audio video through their telephone. So that's becoming much less expensive and easier to adapt and you're less required to have formal hardwiring. And what about amenities? Yeah, amenities in a home, that's different everywhere you go. You know, if you're in Las Vegas, you have to have a pool. In Chicago, you have to have a basement. So really, amenities depend on your particular location. But whatever it is that you find of greatest value in your home, accentuating that to the best of your ability and making it look fresh so that's what people also notice and value, that's a great idea. Are you noticing any trends in millennial buyers? You know, millennial buyers now are coming to, out of the woodwork and starting to buy. They're realizing the amount of money they're spending on rent and uh, having very, having, not using leverage to their advantage, not having any tax deduction. So we're seeing a lot more millennials come into the market. The interesting things with millennials are their less, their parking requirement is significantly less. Most of them do not have a car and don't want a car. And also they do not need large open space. They prefer to have refined, tight, efficient uh, floor plans so that their price point is lower per square foot and uh, they only ha they're only buying what they really need. Well, thank you for coming on the show. You're I welcome. hope you come back. Definitely. Thank you.